Today I am making the best Instant Pot recipes that you can freeze for later. All right, you all know that I love the Instant Pot and I love freezer meals. So I thought I'd get the best of both worlds by making Instant Pot freezer meals. All right guys, let's just jump into it. All right, the first freezer meal we're making is our Instant Pot white chicken chili. Now, this is one of my favorites because it is a dump and go. If you guys know what dump and go means, I just literally throw everything in and then I can just walk away. It's the best. So we're gonna start with our chicken. Now, I kind of cheated if there is cheating in cooking, but I bought pre-cut chicken. So I didn't even have to think about it. It's already cooked, it's already cut. We're just gonna put that into the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna use my fingers. It will just make it better. If not, it will just spill all over the place. Now we're just gonna dump everything in. So we have one can of corn with the liquid in it still. We're just gonna pour it right on top. One can of Rotel, then that's the can with chili. So if you don't have Rotel, you can just use diced tomatoes and one can of green chilies too. Same thing. Then I have about one teaspoon of minced garlic. And I like to use the kind that's already in your fridge. That's, I'm all about simplifying. That's my favorite way. It has for a whole onion, but we're just gonna do a half an onion in this one. So a chopped half onion. Then we have black beans. With these ones, you wanna rinse and drain them because this is white chili. You don't want the black bean goop in here. Let's just be honest. So rinse and drain your beans. Now we have white beans. These are navy beans, but really you could use any kind of white beans that you guys like. So dump in our beans. Now, one of my favorite parts, taco seasoning. I know it's white chicken chili, but oh, who doesn't love a good taco seasoning, right? And the last ingredient that you want is ranch, ranch seasoning. Now, usually I would get a packet and dump it in, but if you guys didn't see, we have our own seasonings right now. This is our special ranch. This is buttermilk peppercorn ranch. It's one of my favorites. I'm looking for my tablespoon. There you go. So one pack is about two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna measure out two tablespoons of our Six Sisters ranch. Oh guys, if you don't have it, you've gotta get it. It's, it is amazing. All right, if you want to try our buttermilk ranch, there is a link down below for you. You can just grab it right there. All right, we are all done. That's how easy this is. You guys, I love this. I love easy freezer meals. I'll put that to the side, close this baby up. Now, if you notice, I still have one ingredient left. I'm not adding that yet. I do not love a bulging, bulging bag with lots of liquid, because lots of times they will leak, and I don't love the leaking. So we're just gonna do it just like this. And then we're gonna add our chicken broth when it's time. Okay, the best part about this recipe is that the chicken is already cooked. So really, you don't have a lot of raw things in there. So you can cook this for about five minutes. So of course, you know, I love the Instant Pot, so that's what we're cooking it in. We're gonna put it in the Instant Pot, just frozen. It can be a big frozen blob, just like that. Then you're gonna take chicken broth, you're gonna add one cup of chicken broth on top. You're gonna cook it for five minutes. That's it, five minutes and it's done. Instant Pot white chicken chili. It is delicious and it's so easy. So what I would serve with it would be either like garlic bread on the side, maybe a side salad. Those are like our go-to when we have soup. So I highly suggest if you have busy nights, this is the Instant Pot recipe to make. All right, we're all done with this recipe. Let's move on to the next. Okay guys, the next recipe we're making, beef tips and gravy. And Kendra is now here at my house. <laughs> okay. This is one of my favorites. Oh yeah. Absolute favorites. Okay, we have three pounds. Three yes. pounds of, what would we do? Stew meat. Stew meat, okay. And I love that this comes like pre-chopped. There's nothing worse than having to cut up your own meat. Right. This is just saving us time. <laughs> what I like to do is make one of each. Make one for now, make a freezer meal for later. Right. Now, if you have a smaller family, I mean, this is a lot of meat. Yeah, you could is. easily just split this in half. The cooking time would be the same on the Instant Pot. So. Yeah. Awesome. That is a lot of meat. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna add. Our fresh mushrooms. Right. Full package. Yep. Add it on in. Now, if you don't love mushrooms, you don't actually have to add these, yeah. but let's do onions next. Kay. You wanna do those? Yes. Onions. This is one onion diced, and we did it pretty fine. And the kids don't know what's there, yeah. right? Okay, so then we're gonna add two <coughs> tablespoons of ketchup. There we go. And then two tablespoons of W sauce. Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. And then we have uh, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar that we'll just pour in. 
I am gonna measure this because okay. red wine vinegar it's sometimes powerful. it's very powerful. And then this is garlic powder, salt, and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top. Nice. And then just one packet of Italian seasoning mix or dressing mix. Nice. Now you have a Done. few options here. Okay. You can add your beef broth right now, but sometimes I struggle when there's liquid in my freezer bags because yeah. I just hate them to leak. I know. They've been leaking lately. I don't know what's up. So I'm gonna leave the broth out okay. for now. Oh, this is thing. Big. I'm excited. Hefty. Hefty. All right, when you're all ready to cook this, you're going to dump this whole thing frozen in your Instant Pot. Then you're gonna add the can of beef broth. Yep. You're gonna set the timer for like 70, 70 minutes. Mostly because we want this beef nice and tender, and that's how you do it. The longer that you cook it, the more tender it's gonna be. Yes. My favorite thing is put this in in the morning, let it cook, and then it's gonna sit there on keep warm for the rest of the day. This is one of those that you can dump in the morning and come eat it yeah. when it's dinner and it's and ready And then it's to go. like a natural candle for your house. Right? Oh, <laughs> natural candle of food. A meaty candle. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're all done with this recipe. Let's move on to the next. All right, next recipe, Instant Pot Steak Fajitas. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. How much meat do we have here? Two pounds of flank steak and we've Slice these into strips. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Right? That was sweet. You have one of these, dudes? No. And then we have one green bell pepper and one red bell pepper. Nice. And then one yellow onion. One yellow pepper. I just mm. love the peppers. I like, know. So I, fresh. I love making fajitas because it's just it's fresh. Yeah. It's, and you get vegetables in there, which sometimes is hard to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna need the juice of two limes. Okay, show me how it's done. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, Kristen said she has this fancy little doofus. I do. It's for so juicing cool. limes. I'm excited so we're to We're gonna learn. squeeze them first. Roll, roll. No it's limbs. a game changer. So you literally just kind of pick one end and then just okay. twist it in. And you just squeeze this. Squeeze it goes this all thing. the way in. It I'm goes all, all the way in. in. <laughs> we have a mixture of seasonings. Okay. And if yeah, you can find that in the description. Yeah, yeah we'll put that in there. It's paprika, salt, pepper, chili powder. All the it's good, good stuff. Stuff. And then we're gonna add some liquid smoke. Okay, one teaspoon. Whoop. That's oh. an important part of this because liquid smoke is so good. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vinegar. And there are some things that I do measure. Vinegar mm -hmm. is one. It's potent. It is potent. And then you want two, two of those? tablespoons of soy sauce. One, mm -hmm. two. two. Awesome. Down and done. Hey. That's it. We're gonna That's close it. this baby up. Yeah. Okay, now if you notice there's not a ton of liquid, there's some liquid. Yeah. I would suggest either getting like a half a cup of chicken broth, a half a cup of beef broth, yeah. probably beef broth. Yeah. Um, put it in your instant pot first, then put in your frozen vegetables yep. and steak. The instant pot needs liquid in order to pressurize. Yep. So you'll stick this in your instant pot. First, we recommend, of course, adding your beef broth or your chicken broth placing this in, and then you will cook it on pressure cook high for about 12 minutes. Then you pull it out. My favorite thing is to serve on tortillas. Oh yeah. Uh, it's so good. But this is also, we like to do like burrito bowls. Oh, so then we okay. just put on some rice, add some guac, some fresh salsa, good to go. All right, done with this recipe. Let's move on to the next. The next recipe is our easy sweet pork. This may be the best of the best. <laughs> I agree, I agree. All right, are we ready? I think so. All right. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that, I like that better. Oh, okay. look at this. Okay, this recipe, so easy, yeah. so simple. <laughs> so we have one cup of brown sugar, just gonna pour right on mm -hmm. top. And then just one bottle of just red taco sauce. We're using mild. If Weak you mouse. want a little, you know what? This Because this is sweet pork, yeah. I would suggest using mild. All right, we are all done here, very carefully. <laughs> pulling that out. <laughs> Zipping it up. Zip it up. Yes. And I'm then back. instead of doing like a beef broth or water, you are going to use some Coke to cook this yes. to help the Instant Pot come to pressure. This will be your liquid. Right, so you're gonna put this right in frozen, make it easy on yourselves. Like yep. I love cooking from frozen. <laughs> and then we're adding two cups of the Coke. Yeah. So we're gonna cook it high pressure for about 90 minutes. Now, my secret, when you're doing any roast, pork roast, yep. any, any roast, cook it in the morning. 
then let it sit there on keep warm. It's like, a, it will be like a slow cooker. Yeah. And the more it cooks, the more it stays in there, mm -hmm. it's gonna be nice and tender. Super tender. Yeah. It will just fall apart when you're shredding it. Right, if you do 90 minutes and then do a quick release with mm -hmm. your Instant Pot, it's gonna be tough. So, yeah. morning cooking. Yes. It will, game changer. Yep. Game changer. If you love freezer mills as much as we do, we love them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we use freezer mills probably like four out of the seven days a week. Yes, but we did. That is why we have created our Freezer Meal membership for Freezer Meal lovers like you. So if you need more fresh recipes that are Freezer Meals, you can join our membership. You get 10 recipes sent to your inbox every month as well as a shopping list, cooking times for an Instant Pot and a slow cooker, side dish ideas, and we're also throwing in an additional bonus chicken, shredded chicken recipe ebook where you just take shredded chicken, add a few ingredients, and dinner is ready. So yes. if you're interested, you can go to freezermills.sixsisterstuff.com forward slash membership. You'll find it there, you can sign up. It's, I don't think we've had like a negative review about no, it. Everyone is loving, loving how it. fresh freezer mills are because sometimes you can get freezer mills and it's, let's be honest, a lot of them look like dog food. Yeah. But yeah. these ones are fresh ingredients, fresh recipes that are delicious and picky eater approved. You're right. Ask and our kids. We'll put a link <laughs> down below for you in the yes. description. You can find it there too. All right, if you want more Instant Pot recipes, I have 20 of my favorite Instant Pot recipes that I always make. All right, guys, thanks for cooking with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Just fast. Ciao. <laughs>